Hi guys, what's up? I'm Mark, your friendly tutor, and you are now watching your friendly tutor videos. This time, I'm going to talk about second or secondary displays, like this setup. So if you want to learn more, just subscribe and keep watching. This video is dedicated to my former classmate Marilyn and her husband, Jeff. <laughs> So what's the advantage of having two monitors? It is that we can open different websites at the same time like here. So you are seeing now a Facebook and a YouTube. And then I'm going to open the LIS, the Learner Information System of the Department of Education. And I can also open an application or a website of Schoology. And then I'm just going to resize it so that I can see all of them, all of the websites can fit in a smart TV as your second monitor and then you can also have another application that is open in your laptop like here you can see that the Google meeting or the Google meet is opened in my laptop so I can have five applications or websites that are opened at the same time likewise I can open four files in my monitor like here you can see four Microsoft Word files and then I have one Excel file in my laptop. So if you are going to copy paste some words here, you can do it easily because of your second monitor. So let's first connect my laptop to my smart TV as my second monitor. I'm going to use an HDMI cable and then I'm going to, to put it in a HDMI port in my laptop. And then, yeah, just watch. <laughs> then let's connect it to the HDMI one port of the smart TV, as you can see here. Yeah, let's insert it. So of course, you should turn on your TV or your second monitor. So it is already on. And what if your TV and laptop is not yet connected? So you choose the source or you, you press the source in the remote control and make it sure that it is in the HDMI 1 arc source. Or if it is not yet connected, so you may press F7 in your keyboard or any other shortcuts in your keyboard that will show the extend. So here you can see extend here or duplicate or the PC screen only or the second screen only here. So we will choose extend here. If it is still does it work? Display or dis display or display settings. And then you click uh, display settings here. Uh, as you can see. Uh, the secondary monitor is already detected. So you can click the identify button to see which is the number one in the second monitor. So here you, you can see the multiple displays. So you click extend this display. So you can see the options, duplicate this display, show only one, show only two. Like what we have shown you a while ago on the shortcut F7 or any other keyboard shortcuts. So you can change the position of the secondary monitor depending on the position of your second monitor. For example, if your second monitor is located at the left of your laptop, so it is this, this is the setting. But if you want to change the position of your second monitor or secondary monitor, you just drag this number 2 to the right. For example, if you want to... Uh, if your second monitor is connected to the right, so you drag it to the right. And then you click apply.
As you can see, you can position your secondary monitor in eight different positions. Okay? It can be above, it can be below, it can be to the left or to the right, or at the four corners or the four edges. If you want to put um, some applications here in in display number two in our smart TV, you, sh you should drag this one towards left or to the left. But if your second monitor is located above your laptop, so you should drag it above or upwards. That's it. So I hope you have learned something today. Especially you, Marilyn. I hope you have enjoyed this video for you. Um, that's all. Thank you very much and goodbye.